caretakers of our shared planet. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 164. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Siebel and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 164, May 15th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the third 25% of the written content for the Courage lesson plan to the website, as you can see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of courage is now 75% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the final 25% of the written part of the courage lesson plan. We also completed the third 25% of the mind map for the summer lesson plan, bringing it to 75% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week on Highest Good Food, the core team continued working on the renders for the tropical atrium that is the center of the Earth Bay Village, Pod 1. Here you can see the finished render looking southwest and focusing on the hand terraces in Central Pond. The next step here is Photoshop colors and additions. As part of the development of our Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan, which features contributions from naturopathic Dr. Matt Martirano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health, this week we calculated and added the nutritional information and daily requirements for greens to our meal plans. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, took the render from the core team and added all the plant details so it now shows the tropical atrium flourishing with fruit trees, flowers, and other plants from the tropical atrium planting and harvesting plan. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind-the-scenes revision for the Footers Foundations and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was on creating a sketch and explanatory narrative depicting the layout of expanded polystyrene insulation for the earth bag dome floor in dome subterranean exterior. We also finished the narrative for the 6 milliliter polythene over exterior horizontal EPS insulation. We'd say we are now 81% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Jessica Zinda, drafter and designer, also completed this final CAD drawing of the Earth Bag Village dome excavation, French drain, gutter, and footer. Zachary Moline, graphic designer, also took over updating the Treehouse Village Pod 7 book created by last year's intern team. What you see here is Zachary's process of redoing the background image and rebuilding the table of contents and the summary page. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, 
further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 19 of this work that is now focused on what you see here, creating quality render plants and trees like those we'll be growing on the property. Saul Rubio, industrial designer, also continued working on creating professional, do-it-yourself, Earth Bag Village Murphy Bed Furniture assembly instructions. What you see here are week three of his process of double-checking all of our pieces and creating SolidWorks versions of them from the SketchUp pieces we already have. Shilsey Augustine, architect, continued developing the compressed earth block village, pod four, massage and treatment room spaces. You can see this work here where her focus continues with the aesthetic and structural details for the external spaces. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, Neha Verma, Construction Project Manager and Bachelors of Architecture, created this initial section plan for the city center. And Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, added the final details to this city center render of the large-scale communal kitchen. Additionally, Iris Sue, industrial designer, also continued exploring recycled pipe shelving options for the Duplical City Center Library. What you see here is round five of this work building more 3D examples of the corner shelving options we liked best and further exploring how they'll look with different shelving for the adjacent walls. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team completed updating all the icons for the highest good of all sections of the website. What you see here are these icons added now to the highest good of all portal and collaborative resource and information hub. Jonathan DeAcentis, graphic designer and web developer, additionally continued development of our Highest Good Network logo as shown here. This week's changes were discussing options for the words in the outer ring. What would the world look like if humanity collectively decided to become caretakers of our shared planet? One community is creating a path to that. Our idea is to make sustainable living easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own. And our engine for doing this is teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that are self-sufficient, self-sustainable, and provide a way of living that most people will find to be better than the way that they're living right now. We call this living and creating for the highest good of all, and we're bringing together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, people that believe that we can create a world that truly works for everybody, not some way out time in the future, but now within our lifetime, by working together, by creating a culture of cooperation and collaboration instead of competition, and by creating and living for the highest good of all life on our planet. This is how we're being caretakers of our shared planet, and this is how we're creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints, and do-it-yourself instructions for replicating these teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs, for replicating all the different components and elements of the teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities, and hubs, and for all evolving sustainability by combining the physical foundations of these teacher demonstration hubs, which are food, energy, and housing, with the emotional foundations of these teacher demonstration hubs, which are highest good, fulfilled living practices, education, economics, and true earth stewardship. Putting all this stuff together is an evolution of sustainability that teaches people and offers people an opportunity to live and create for the highest good of all with that consciousness, but they don't have to. The idea of open sourcing and free sharing, everything that we do, is to make all these things easy enough, affordable enough, demonstrating them as attractive enough so they'll spread on their own, creating a better world for everybody, even if people are doing it purely because they want to live this way and they don't care about doing things that are better for humanity, that aren't interested in highest good living, they're just interested in living well for themselves. That's totally fine. Our idea is if we create everything that we're doing with the consciousness for the highest good of all, it doesn't really matter how it's implemented, we'll still be moving humanity and our planet forward. We'll still be enrolling people in the process of being caretakers of our shared planet, even if they're not necessarily consciously participating or actively participating in the caretaking process.
this is what one community is doing. This is how we're doing it. This is our idea of creating a world that works for everybody. And it's modeled off of everything that's become viral, every product that's taken off, every idea. If it's easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, the idea spreads on its own. So what if we made sustainability like that? And not just a little piece of sustainability, but what if we created a complete village? A complete teacher demonstration hub, a solution model designed to create additional solution creating models built on self-sufficiency and sustainability. In so doing, building a bridge between pragmatism and idealism and simultaneously addressing all the challenges of this generation and generations to come because we see them as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. This is how we're doing it. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds interesting to you, something that you'd like to get involved in, we are an all-volunteer, nonprofit, and unpaid team. And we've got lots of different ways to participate. If you'd like to join our volunteer team, you can do so as a pioneer member, which are the people that will move to one community and build the initial teacher demonstration hub, or just as a volunteer operating behind the scenes, or if you want the easiest way to help us out and help humanity out, Share our information on social media. We are on all the different social media groups to make it as easy as possible. We are on Pinterest, Tumblr, Reddit, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Sue, and about 15 others to make it as easy as possible for people to access our information, putting the information out there and the internet open source and free shared so people can get their hands on that and use it whatever way they want. World change within our lifetime is possible if enough people participate. Our goal is to maximize participation, to bring more and more people on board with the idea of being caretakers of our shared planet, either for selfish reasons or for humanitarian philanthropic reasons. It doesn't really matter, but our goal of providing open source tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints, do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of sustainability is to provide something for everybody that, that is created for the highest good of all and how they use that still, regardless of how they use that, still moves us forward. And by open sourcing it, to allow humanity's creativity, their ingenu ingenuity, to do the rest. Of course, we're still seeking large-scale funding. It's not our primary focus right now. Our primary focus is on open source tools, tutorials, and resources, the blueprints, doing everything that we're doing to be shovel-ready so that once we get the funding, we can start building on the property. But if we could get the property off the market right now, it would exponentially increase our team and our open source process. So if you or some of you know has access to large scale funding, would be interested in either investing in one community or in donating to our 501c3, we'd love to talk to you. We'd like to say thank you every single week for the small donations. Because we're all unpaid, no money goes to me or anybody else on the team, which means that every small donation we get helps to cover our expenses, which for a global organization like ours are pretty significant, surprisingly significant. Uh, even with an all-volunteer team. So all those $5, $10, $15 donations are very helpful. I'd like to remind people that if you would like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. And of course, if you send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, we'll add you to our newsletter list if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are all already caretakers of our shared planet. Whether we're doing it consciously or not, we are caretakers. The goal of one community is to make the caretaking process more appealing, easier for everybody, and self-replicating. So thanks for following our progress. Thanks for watching this blog. Until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.